Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? As of uh, right now, I wanted to give you an update on what's going on. I didn't work tonight. Uh, I only worked for a little bit Monday night. And as of right now, I'm not working night shifts no more. I'm starting working day shifts starting tomorrow from 8 to 6 like I used to. And I did a video, a uh, food review video from work Monday night of the, right before starting, like a half hour before I started work, of the Cheez-Its. Bake, snack, mix, extra hot and spicy, or something like that. Now, I probably won't be doing any more food reviews from work, not on day shift, because it's too too many people there, too many chances my camera will get stolen. I don't know that, I don't, they got a whole bunch of new people, I don't know. So, I mean, this probably be my last food review from work for a while, at least until I start day shift, uh, night shift again. So, for right now, night shift is off, I'm doing day shift. I also wanted to show you a zombie shirt I got. My sister came over Sunday. That was before I did that ice bucket challenge thingy. I hope you see it. If you get a chance, check it out. It's a really good, funny video. They got me a zombie shirt. It says, uh, Zombies, they love you for what's on the inside. Isn't that cool? They got that for me at Kmart, I guess. They had to get some stuff for my dad. They came over for about an hour or so. And, uh, let me see. Oh, also, I got, well, like I said, I got the food review coming up. I got a special thank you to uh, the Oaken Mystic for doing like a really cool picture of my channel I'm about to put up next. And uh, also the weird thing is, I forgot I did a video, but I did so many videos. I did something in the morning, well, Monday night when I came home, uh, of a cucumber and tomato salad. I already did a video about that, but I want to at least include that in this video. Because I did something back in, what, January, February, Jason Cowan's cucumber tomato salad i forgot all about it. i forgot i did one <laughs> but i wanted to include it anyway at least in this video for fun and make the video longer i guess so uh i probably won't be on until wet wednesday so until next time but hey stay tuned i hope you liked the videos i'm gonna put up woody's uh photo he did of me then i'll do the in in uh at work food review then i'll do the cucumbers and tomatoes thing so take care everybody and stay tuned i hope you enjoy everything and check out my Ice Bucket Challenge video. It's very entertaining and funny, even though the audio is off. But, oh, well, it happens. Hey, my legion, how y'all doing? I just wanted to thank my friend uh, Woody, uh, also was known as Oak and the Mystic, for uh, the video he did. And then he did, like, a special photos thanking me with my channel, me looking up there, looking like a real badass. It's pretty cool. And I wanted to share that in the video. And so I just want to say thank you very much, Woody. It was an awesome picture. I really like it. And I wanted to share it with everybody. All right. Thank you again, buddy. Hey, my legion. How are you all doing today? Well, I'm back at work. It's a Monday. I'm about ready to start another work week. I got a review of uh, Cheez-Its. Baked snack mix, extra hot and spicy. And this one's made with uh, uh, green pepper sauce, green pepper Tabasco sauce, which is uh, would be their jalapeno sauce. I got some grapes from Sure Fine. These were a little more expensive. These were $2.49 a pound. This thing was $2.34. And I got a Clover Valley Diet Coke. So let's try this out and let me set down the camera and open this up. Well, the machine's warming up. I ain't getting it. Ain't my job. Okay. Oh, let me, oh, this is a snack mix. Oh, okay. Let me show you the nutritional facts before I get too far ahead of myself. Uh, calories 130, four and a half grams total fat, one gram saturated fat, no trans fat. 2 grams polyunsaturated fat, 1 gram monounsaturated fat, no cholesterol, 400 milligrams sodium, 20 grams uh, total carbs, 1 gram dietary fiber, uh, sugar less than 1 gram protein, 2 grams, and 2% calcium and 6% iron. And they got a whole bunch of neat stuff in here. They got uh, the cheese and crackers, the mini pretzels, the crunchy curls, rye bread slice sounds good, and pretzel sticks. Try this out. This was a dollar eighty-eight at Country Fair. All right, let's look. Oh, they smell. Oh man, they smell very uh, jalapeno-y. Okay, let's give each one a shot. All right, let's see what we got here. Pretzel stick. Mm. 
Very good. All right, pretzel. Well, I have the full, full form pretzel. Cheese cracker. The rye bread slice, that's what I'm really interested in. And uh, last is the cheese curl. You got cheese curl. Mm, good, uh, good size uh, cheese curl. Mm. You try them all together. Mmm, really good. I got my little guy to fill up the bag too. I'd probably give cheese its uh, baked snack mix, extra hot and spicy, a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's a little bland, but it's good for work. But it's still pretty good. I'm going to try a couple of grapes. And that big one right there. Oh yeah, these are delicious. These are 10 out of 10. And of course a pop. Oh, that's a 10 out of 10 too. I got another type of pop. I got uh, the sure frying Diet Cola, which is also good. Really good. Alright. And there you have it. 7 out of 10 for Cheese It's uh, Baked Snack Mix, extra hot and spicy. It does have good spice to it. So, pretty good and good for take to work for you. So, until next time, everybody, hey, please take care of my legion. Got the forklift going right there. Now, like I said, there's a bunch of people in here now. There won't be in about, oh, about 25 minutes. It's right now it's uh, 538. Uh, I'll probably be working, start working in about 22 minutes. I gotta make sure to punch in a 10 till. So until next time, everybody, hey, like I said, 7 out of 10 for the Cheez-Its. Baked snack mix, extra hot and spicy, made with the jalapeno brand Tabasco sauce. So, take care. I'll leave. You. <coughs> hey, my lady, how y'all doing? I'm gonna be making Jason Callen's tomato and cucumber salad. Look at the size of these tomatoes, they're pretty huge. Now I got this from Burdick's. We haven't been to Burdick's in like about two years. There's a cucumber right there. And along with that, I'm gonna cut these up real good. I'm gonna add some, uh, I'm not going to. That's the last thing I talk about. Uh, Romano, I'm gonna make some Romano. Uh, Romano basil vinaigrette. Uh, salad dress for wishbone. These were on sale too for four bucks. I got. This for me and I got my dad a ranch. Now along now I'm going to top off some onion powder and some garlic powder and a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. I got to get a new pepper grinder. Well, it would be freshly ground pepper, I should say. Uh, I'm going to cut this up and I'll show you the finished product. And also do the photo for the thumbnail. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that. Hey, I'm back. I'm here with uh, my uh, cucumber tomato salad already cut up. With a salad dressing and uh, onion uh, powder and cracked black pepper and uh, garlic powder on it. Let's give this a shot. Mm, that's really good. Come on, really good. I like that. Uh, Rum, mono, basil, vinaigrette. It's pretty good. These tomatoes. They're pretty good. They take good. Uh, they cut up real well.
Me too. I'm, I'm alright too. So this uh, cucumber and tomato salad gets a 9 out of 10 for me. It's really good. It's very easy to make. You make it yourself at home. So this has been Jason Callen's Cucumber and Tomato Salad. So until next time, take care of my legion.